Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's pick up where we left off. We are in the gas station in Milton. And the focus of today's episode is to loot all of Milton and hoard as much as we can to our locations, look for saplings, look for all kinds of stuff that we need to that we need to grab. I have meat outside. I was thinking of leaving some things here. But the thing is, we're not going to be heading back this way because we're going to be very heavy. And I might just go ahead and grab this. How are we doing on weight? Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. I'm gonna uh, leave something behind. So I'm going to grab everything out of here. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to leave that wood there for now. <clears throat> what we're going to do is head over to... Uh, from this location, I'm going to go straight to the uh, the farmstead. There's a particular name for it. I don't quite... Yeah, those aren't even cooked, which is fine. But we're going to be attracting some visitors to us at some point here. Fill up on water. And yeah, we're going to go right to the farmstead. It's morning. It's really cold. Uh, actually, let me get the other the lower quality bow. I'm just going to use this until it breaks on us. Yeah, so, I mean, that way... That way is the town. We're going to bypass the town. How are we doing on sticks? I'll pick up I'll pick up more sticks later on. We're just a little we're pretty heavy right now. So uh, we're just heading straight to the farmstead because uh, that's the route we're gonna be heading out of and it has a six slot stove as well. There's two six slot stoves in this region. One is there and one is what are is at uh, what people call Grey Mother's house and that comes from the excuse me the um, Story mode part of this game. So yeah, so we're just heading straight across here. And we're keeping an eye out for visitors. Anybody who wants to come say hello to us. Can't feel my feet. Looking for mushrooms and stuff. Let's see. I made a suggestion that every single stump needs to have three mushrooms on it. Hasn't made it to the devs yet, I don't think. We are freezing. But that's okay. We'll get to our destination. Yeah, so I usually do the Grey Mother's house, but... I mean, to put all my stuff in, but... Uh, I'm not going to do that this time. Because we're just going to be using the... Uh, Farmstead is our main location here, so. Should be nearing it. There'll be cattails along here. And there's usually around three wolves, I think, by the uh, like farmstead. A is there's a deer for us. We don't need a deer at this time. I do want to get another deer hide uh, curing, though. Uh, for the uh, <coughs> repairs we want to do from the scuffle from the wolf. Uh, also need a couple of rabbits. There's rabbits around the farmstead as well. So the farmstead, I didn't take the most direct route because I just, I'm not used to coming from that direction. But there should be some wolves coming up upon us right now. I'd be really surprised if there weren't. Where are they? As we smell, we have guts on us, we have meat on us. Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> Usually there's at least one kind of around this area. Now, carried over from the story mode, you'd still need to find the key uh, to this building. And there's three or four locations it can be in. One of them's in here. It can be right on the dashboard here. 
<coughs> Obviously not here right now. Another location it can be is in the tractor, uh, or behind the house, or uh, inside that building there. There's four locations that I know of that the key can be in. Yeah, part of our job here in Pleasant Valley is to just grab so many things to make teas from and stuff like that. So I don't see a corpse over here. Usually that would be uh, where the key is. There's some wood back here. I need to remember that. I'm not going to grab it right now. So I hear some birds. So the key is either in this tractor or it's in, uh, in a corpse inside uh, this building. So let's check here. And there's the key. Okay. We're still going to go inside this building right now because there'll be things inside here for us to grab. Got another pot. That'll be great for the stove in there. Let's just see if there's anything else. Good thing we checked over here. Got an accelerant. Yeah, there's just... Uh, I'm really surprised there's no wolves around here, actually. Just checking everything else to be thorough. Okay. Can I check that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, usually there's one kind of over by the entrance here. He kind of hangs around there, and then there's the two, there can be up to two, kind of between us and the, the barns over there. And uh, there's also a uh, deer that can be over there as well. All right, what do we got here? Table. We have some rose hips. Grab those. Milton is a fairly relaxed region. Um, those will be my famous last words, though, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, um, let's uh, fill up on meat real quick. And then I'll dump the rest of the meat out. We don't have that much left of meat, really. Actually, no, I'm just not going to dump it out since I have one. I'll just keep that on me here and we'll just, we'll just, we'll just eat it up. All right, uh, it's time to drop some things here. So let's, uh, let's just start putting stuff here. I'm not going to spend time making it pretty. I'm just going to get it out from inventory. Peaches, we got some vitamin C, carrots. There's a pantry in the back there that'll have some, um, at least some potatoes there for us. Uh, more oats, yes. Oats are the friend, oats are the friend. Where? There's the oats. There's some more oats there. All right. Perfect. in here. No. Never would have thought to look here. Moldy venison raw. Okay. Um, some potatoes. I'm going to drop that raw piece outside. Oh, only one potato in there, huh? <laughs> Alright. Got some soda. Don't Dusting softer. I don't need that. I think you can use that to make gunpowder. And then you can use gunpowder as a as an accelerant. Um, we're gonna drop this because it it's uh, ruined, so we can't select it and put it there. What else have we got? We're gonna drop both of these. Drop this stuff up here. All right. 
continue our search. I'm gonna drop the pan before I forget it. The extra pan we have. There we go. Six slot stoves, you gotta love them. Let's put it over here. Get the food. Anything in there? Oh, we got another one. Check it out. <laughs> nice. Alright, I'll probably bring uh, a bunch of those back with me because I I would like to load up the six slot stove in Pleasant Valley with uh, as many pots and pans as I can. And then here's another one. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Put those, actually, put these in the back. Alright, for now. Very, very nice. Okay, anything else? And then we'll just, we're just going to hoard the rest of uh, the supplies in the town. And bring it back here. Sounds like there's a blizzard outside. Hypothermia. We're still heavy, but we haven't dropped everything. Cloth. I'm just gonna drop right here once I get done checking everything. Cloth that we don't need. There's a book. Another flare. Anything else in there? I suppose there could be something underneath the that. All right. Alrighty. In lower difficulties, there'll be more uh, clothing in this room. This will come in handy. Oh, we have our second thermal underwear. We didn't have that. We were still in need of a second one. That one does need to be repaired, so we're going to need to do that pretty quickly. We don't want it to disappear on us and become ruined. Right, anything else in here? I'm glad we found that magnifying glass, and now I'm just going to have to remember to use it when I can. Uh, that isn't in my brain quite so much yet to think about. Um, um, the magnifying glass. So, alright, let's see what else we're going to drop here. Um, the only thing is here, I don't think there's a workbench though. That's the thing. I think workbenches are fairly limited in this region. Um, actually, off the top of my head, I don't know where a workbench would be. Too close to another object, huh? Okay, well, we'll just leave it then. I wanted to move this book, but... Oh well. Alright, uh, we got to drop... I want to drop the raw piece of meat out here. Now we got a blizzard. Fill back up. I'll just drop both of them. No, nope. okay. all right. So I got both of them out here, and we got a good amount of water. I'm not gonna leave any here. Okay. So what else do we need to drop? We need to drop the um... actually, so I so I can keep track of all these things. Drop that guy. I don't need flare, drop that flare. Okay, I have two arrowheads. So we do need to sharpen that guy some more. We have oil. I don't need the oil right now. Just drop that. Don't need the wire. What else we got here? 
Got some stuff to craft. We got... We got a couple pairs of shoes. Drop those guys. Drop these, drop these. Are we wearing everything else except for the earpiece? Okay. Okay, we're underweight. That's amazing. I like. I get some more carrying capacity and then I get heavy again. <laughs> uh, the sticks are really contributing. I shouldn't pick up any more sticks for the time being. Alright, let's. Um, since we got a blizzard, let's just do a little bit of crafting. We're gonna repair the our underwear. Thermal underwear. And I'm curious to see if these acorns, after they're prepared, if they decrease in weight. Let's take a look. So we got uh, 0.35. So if I go through and I repair all or craft all these acorns, does it change the weight? So 0.35 was what we started with. the acorns. 0.35. So uh, no decrease in weight from the preparation for those guys. Right. I forgot another, another thing here. Okay. Drink that up. Alright, uh, now we're going to repair, since the blizzard's still going, uh, let's go ahead and repair these guys. Oh, I don't have any cloth on me, so then, over here, get some cloth. It's at 22%. Let's see how much it improves. It improves 0%. <laughs> uh, more cloth. Might as well take a nap too, because I mean, I can loot in the dark. Uh, we'll just see. The blizzard's still going to be going here for us. A oh, large portion. We got one large portion. Might as well prepare that. I'm sure that doesn't make any difference at all either. Okay, so let's try this again. Repair. Ah. We're failing quite a bit. Two failures on the repair. Yeah, let's just do it again. <laughs> Alright, well, I was thinking we could sleep, but I think the blizzard's over with. Let's see what we got. Yep, it's over with now, so okay. <clears throat> well, let's continue looting. Looks like the wolves are out again. We're going to eradicate all these wolves. you got to be careful here, though, because there's just a lot of ups and downs here. So you have to find out what your charging, your wolf charging stretch is going to be. You, you don't want to have humps, humps in between you and the wolf if you can help it, because the silhouette is going to be a moving up and down on you while you're going, and that can affect, that will affect uh, your accuracy. Now you can go straight that way, up the hill and stuff like that if you want to head, if you want to make a beeline towards the church. Come here, sir. You were coming pretty fast, kind of like a timber wolf almost. I heard a deer, possibly. I don't know. If you want to check in here, we got a rope right there. Um, there are some ropes. Climb. Sometimes you gotta. Yeah, you just want to check in there as well. Yeah, that wolf was coming pretty quick. Did I grab? Yeah, I grabbed some cattails. Yeah. Let's 
So anything in here doesn't look like it. No. All right, there'll be more wolves up in town. They're the city wolves. These are the country wolves down here. Up there is the burnt down schoolhouse. Looks like up there. There's quite a bit of nooks and crannies in this region. <coughs> I haven't been everywhere in the region, quite a few places. Uh, there's a guaranteed bear spawn by the uh, um, what is it? By the bridge. Once we eventually get over there, we'll kill that bear. That's a very easy place to kill a bear. If you wanna if you're a new player and you want to hunt your first bear, there's plenty of cars. You can just shoot that bear and then just duck in the car real quick if you don't um, if you can't mess with the fire. All right, let's see what we got in here. Uh, I guess I don't need the uh, lantern yet. All right, let's see what this place has for us. Electric stove, can't use that. There's a pot in there, wow. Nice. Now see some of these, you don't want to assume that since it's open you can't search it. Because sometimes, even though they're open like that, you can still search it. I'm not picking up any newspaper. I will pick up water and uh, cloth items that I can turn into cloth, and break down into cloth. We're not going to do cloth hoarding just yet. Uh, I'll do that on a separate thing. Cloth does away quite a bit. Uh, I mean, it just really adds up. I think when I do consolidate all the cloth in this entire region for everything, it ends up being about maybe 120 uh, pieces of cloth. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Yeah, we got uh, <clears throat> we got two, one pot. And uh, one skillet so far in this, just this one place, so. Yeah, this is why an interloper, uh, they don't have you spawn in this region, because it's just too easy, frankly. Alright, uh, anything on the ground here? Piece of cloth. Another piece of cloth. You know, I'm not going to break down all the cloth in all these buildings yet. I may not do it on this particular visit to Milton, uh, to be honest with you. So we're still going to equip our bow because there are wolves out and we don't know where they are. Even though we're just going to literally just jump from building to building, uh, we're just not going to chance that kind of stuff. We don't smell, so they're not going to be looking for us. Anything in the back here? Nothing. We cannot open that trunk. It's smashed in. You do want to check all the vehicles. We got some good weather, I mean, in terms of temperature. Going up this way. Yeah, the wolves can literally be anywhere around here. So you always want to have your bow out. There's some rabbits. I'm not going to get those rabbits. There's rabbits by the farmstead. So, I mean, if I can't find any rabbits, then I'll just grab these guys. But I'm not going to get them right now. I have guts curing in the hides, the rabbit hides cure pretty quickly. So there, sometimes there's things over here. Um, it just... I think it's pretty much up in the air what you'll find. I don't know if there's any real... Those chains are kind of spooking me out. <laughs>
Then do some wood over here, get another pry bar. Not uh, particularly interested in picking up wood at this time. I mean, in relation to everything else, I'm just looking for loot. Probably come back through here and get all the um, all the cloth we can find, and then wood and stuff like that. So that's uh, Grey Mother's house right there, that big one. It's got a six slot stove in it. All right, uh, let's then go over and then we'll start from this end and kind of work our way down. Yep, keep your bow ready because there's wolves around here. You wanna... Okay, I don't see any over that way. And they can be kind of around this intersection here. I think I can get into this place. This place must be one of those rundown places, yeah. Okay. How are we doing on time? We're only 26 minutes in, so that's good. Anything else? Yep. That's it, huh? Nothing else. Okay. Hmm. Alright. That's that place. Uh, if you're coming from this way, you know, from like Hushed River and stuff like that, and there's like a bunch of wolves, and you're not sure what to do, just go ahead and come this way, and then you can just climb up on this uh, downed tree there to just give yourself some cover until you figure out uh, what you want to do. And since we use one of our uh, field dressings, I need to grab one of these. some more of those. Very, very windy. Very windy. Yeah, we'll be making multiple trips back to that uh, farmstead to just consolidate all of our loot. Alright, we'll be in here for a little while. Grab the salt. It's getting a little dark. I'm gonna put this on. Got more pans. Ah, oh, there's so many pots and pans in this place, in this uh, region. Yeah, I might have to. Oh, we do not wait. Yeah, I'm gonna after this house. Uh, we're just gonna head back and and drop everything, and then come back. It's a good thing we found that extra uh, oil. And since we're going to be spending so much time indoors, we're probably going to be at risk of cabin fever. I'm guessing. And there is a cave. Um, one open cave that I know of by the plane crash that we can always sleep in. Uh, it looks like there's a bear in that area, because there's be bones, but there are no bears just in that area where the, where the cave actually is, so you don't have to be concerned about that. This pot is always here, this one. That's a guaranteed spawn. Anything else? Yeah, we're really heavy, so we're just going to head back to the farmstead. Oh, I got some more matches here. Nice. Uh, oh, another lantern. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Yeah, we're probably over. Yeah, we're over 10, 
10 pounds over now. So pretty heavy going back. I don't think I'm going to pick up any more water. I'm just going to kind of leave the water alone for right now. More matches. Very, very nice. Probably be more wolves out on the way back. Let's see if there's anything else in here besides the water, the toilet water. No, not right now. Uh, oftentimes there's something behind this cloth, and really the only way to see is to grab the cloth. Yep, cured rabbit pelt. How do you like that? So. Once our, those deer guts are cured, I might grab the guts from uh, that wolf we killed, frankly. Start start them curing. Jeans. Oh, we'll bring those for cloth. Actually, I think I'm just going to leave them here because they're already like way too heavy. So I'm just going to turn those into cloth anyway, so... Once I do my cloth run, I'll probably just I'll just grab those at that time. Oh, another drawer. Alright, so that should be it for this place. Minus all the cloth and everything. Other things. Got another lantern. Yeah, so we're, we won't be carrying everything back to Forlorn. Uh, we're just going to stock that place up quite a bit. Nothing else, huh? Okay. Oh, that's plenty, right? Oops. Oh, while well, I have this up, let's take a look. We're on day 60. Day 60. Give me the lower quality bow. Alright. Yeah, and here we go. I'll head back. I gotta drink more water. Lighten the load just a little bit. Alright. Still lots left to loot. Lots left to loot. Could be. The wolves shouldn't run from us because we're over encumbered. So. Yep, there's that guy over there. And there can be one just kind of lurking around here, just like right around this area. There's only one house on this um, stretch right here to go into, this particular run. Yeah, we're just real heavy, so... Probably uh, harvest that wolf. And we'll cook up, we'll cook him up. Some more calories. Uh, I only need three more pots for the six slot stove back in the Pleasant Valley, so we'll be leaving some here. I think I'll just leave the skillets and I'll just bring back the, the pots actually. There might be a couple more wolves that have spawned over this way. I think I'm just gonna dump the next time we do a, a supply run or a loot run in the town. Yeah, I hear another wolf over here somewhere. Probably just gonna dump a bunch of supplies inside the trunk. Is what I'll probably do. Not sure where that wolf is. It's howling. I hear it. There's the first wolf we killed in this area. No deer yet. Might be some deer tomorrow. We'll see. 
get over on this side of the fence. Yeah, you want to, <clears throat> when you go into this area, at this point you really want to scan to see if you see any of the movements, because once you get down in here, your visibility is reduced because of all these uh, hills and everything. I'll probably bring back with me the highest, the stuff that's highest in vitamin C. I'm thinking there should be some rabbits, like back over this way, behind the house. We have three fire arrows left. Okay. Yeah, I see them hopping over there, so... Before the night comes, I might just go and grab those rabbits real quick. There's a wolf over there somewhere. I don't see him. Hips. Can't feel my hands. When we get done with the supply run, it might be time to head to the uh, the far territory, actually. Which we won't be going. Yeah, I'm gonna get both those rabbits over there. Which we won't be going right to the far territory. Uh, we'll stop in Broken ra Railroad, and we'll probably kill everything that's there. And then we'll head to the Far Territory. Also, the best place to practice killing a moose is in the Broken Railroad, the hunting lodge there. And the reason is, there's a very few places for that moose to run. And there is a platform you can run up on uh, another downed tree. Uh, for protection. Alright, let's drop our lowest quality pots, pans. Wow, yeah, we're doing really good there. <laughs> it's gonna be really easy to make water. When and if we eventually do. Okay, what do we have for food? Peaches. That. Carrots. Oh, we'll stay there, huh? Nice. Alright. How are we doing on weight? Okay, the, at this time, I'm just going to use this trunk to keep all my stuff organized. Uh, don't want to move anything there. Move that. Stay. This over. This over. about it. Oh, I got potato and some flour. <clears throat> Put that in the table. Alright, anything else right now? One of those over. Move these acorns over. I don't need those with me right now. This can go over, this can go over, all of these can go over, and transfer three of those. Now we can drop the flower. The potato and the salt. They're still heavy.
we're carrying an extra bow too, so. Okay. We have all these matches. We don't need to have all of those with us. Now I'm just looking at the weights more rather than the items. So quite a bit of water to have. Oh, we don't need that crowbar. And I'm not going to be using the hammer. The lantern. Okay, looking a little better. Got quite a few different things. Okay. Now let's go grab. Let's go grab those rabbits quick. <clears throat> get the. Yeah, once we once we're done with this bow too, it will gain another half a kilo. Okay. Switch to the fire arrows. All right, rabbits. See any wolves around? Where the rabbits go? Ah, did the rabbits despawn on us? But our regular was out just for now. Hmm. Looks like the rabbits despawned on us. Not seeing them. This is where they like to hang out, right here. Oh, there's one. They might. They might not have spawned quite yet. Sometimes the game can be a little slow. Still that's just one, but we technically only need one more because we have that rabbit pelt. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. That was like right there. Alright. Need more fire arrows. You gotta kind of lead them. There we go. All right, I want to go get these guts. It's dusk, so the night can't be far behind. Yeah, we do need more food, so I yeah, might as well start a fire and cook this guy up. The weather's doing pretty well for us. So. Plenty of coal inside the uh, cave to Hush River. Um, usually, one is reserve that though when you're actually going in Hush well. River. I mean, there's there's plenty of caves in Hush River anyway, so maybe not maybe not too bad for that. So, all right, this guy's gonna be frozen. Take a little bit. Use the hacksaw. Yeah, there we go. So we'll just get the rest. We're at uh, har Arcus Harvesting level 5. And we might as well just get the hide as well. Have at least one hide here in case we want to repair our wolfskin coat until we get the bear one. Let's 
how much time? 16 minutes? Yeah, let's just finish these. It'll be time to put more fuel on it here shortly. I also have that rabbit we can harvest while we wait. Um, well, let's get some birch bark going, I suppose, right? Some fuel. Did I hear a deer? stopped. Nice. Some more. I want to want to harvest this rabbit now. Grab the meat quick. cabin fever for sure. Keeping it away. Let's get the rest of this rabbit. It's gonna be time to eat. Quite a few torches left. Grab one more. And now that I'm thinking of it, oh, need one more stick. Make some fire arrows. Can I find one? <laughs> it's just they're just sticks. The rest. <laughs> oh, birch bark. Stick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely sleep through the night. Oh, yeah. It's like the middle of the night here. Oh. Somebody. We have an admirer out somewhere. Hello, sir. Just going out for a stroll. Oh, beautiful. Uh, that was terrible. That should have killed him. But it didn't. 29 minutes? Yeah, that'll be good enough. Maybe we'll find that guy. Who knows? Right? There's still a blood trail? Oh, there is. Somewhat curious. You'd think he'd be dead by now. Still a blood trail because I learned. Someone told me that the weather has a huge impact on. Uh, 
the blood trail staying or not. And the weather is actually perfect for this. Let's see, where did he go? Did he, did he turn around here? So he was kind of, I don't see it continuing, and he, I mean, I think this is the original one, right? Or is it, or is it a new one? This looks to be a new one. Yeah, so we started running this way. more interested in that arrow than anything. Okay, did it change directions? Not seeing another blood trail. Disappointed that that shot did not kill him. I should have got him to charge. That would have been a sure kill. Oh well, let's head back. Might run into him. At some point. We could just follow that way over to the church, I suppose. Uh, head up to plane crash and get the bear anyway. So. Let's speed this up a little bit. We got another rabbit. You server disappeared on us. We were trying to get you before. Broken again. Come this way, Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Yeah, he's exhausted, so not aiming very well. make more fire arrows before we know it here. I'm surprised that I consider it that was like a perfect headshot, I thought. To find some place to escape this cold. Really surprised I didn't kill him. Really surprised. Well and frankly he shouldn't have made it that far. With uh, down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. He shouldn't have made it that far technically, because he should have had plenty uh, of health gone by the by the time. Quite frankly, so. And the rabbit pelt. Let's just put right there. I got some things curing. Um, yeah, that's basically a hunting run, so 
There's nothing else to really drop, per se. Uh, I'm going to put the meat outside. Yeah, get the lantern back up. Okay. Yeah, this, and then I'm just going to harvest this right here. I'm just going to use our hands. I'm not concerned about being out with particularly daylight and all that kind of stuff. This region <clears throat> with our current mission. So. Alright, time for a full night's sleep. And. Well, I already drank water, so. We'll just get a, a nice. Our condition should get pretty full. Yep. Okay, here a blizzard. What's our weight? We got really good weight. How are these things doing? Those guts are 55%. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to stay here. We'll fill up on food. And where should we go? Just run into town. We don't need our bow out. We just we have more looting to do, and I don't want to waste my time here. How are we doing on time anyway? We got about 58 minutes, so gonna do one more run into town. <coughs> This way. Milton's pretty easy to get around in blizzards. There's plenty of landmarks. I'm not really gonna get lost at all. Yeah, so the best place I found to hunt a moose if you're a rookie is over Broken Railroad if he is spawning right by the hunting lodge, because there's uh, a down tree that you can run up on for protection, and there's very, very few places for him to go, actually, and you can, you can track him really easily. Uh, and then, like I said, the best place to hunt a bear, if you're a rookie, is in this region, and you'll see, you'll see where we go to find that bear. Okay, there won't be any wolves out, there's the blizzard, and we'll just head right in here into is this the bank? Yeah, credit union. We'll head in here. Check this place out. Alright, see what we can find in here. Well, I guess I'm not going to need the lantern. Usually nothing over there. Uh, what do we got? Nothing. Nothing there. And some coffee, which is great. Let's use more coffee. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen a corpse right here before. See, you see these boots? Those are those uh, special boots. They must not be my size. 
I wish you could loot the clothing off of some of these uh, corpses, really. But you'd probably have to start a fire next to them and thaw them out. And then take the clothing off of them. The clothing's probably... Well, could be frozen on them if the clothing was wet when they died. Right? So you'd have to thaw the person for a while. Oh, is that a coffee? I almost missed that coffee there. I can use this later. Or you could use it now, sir, if you want. <laughs> Nothing else there. We will... There is a safe in here. We will uh, dig into the safe. How are we doing on water? We could use some more water, I suppose. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Wasn't much. supplies in this region. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to start fishing after we get back. I think I think once we get back to what's that, about 20 uh, Pleasant Valley, we'll just regroup and we'll figure out what we need to do in terms of maintenance of anything. The bear hide, because the bear hide, frankly, is going to take uh, any more time to cure. Because uh, we're going to be hauling it back with us uh, through Forlorn. And then it's going to need more time to cure, so I think we'll just go to Forsaken Airfield of our territory with the gear we have. This is what I'm thinking. The extra protection and t 2 degrees Celsius would definitely help us, but we have our thermos and. Yeah. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Peaches. Put peaches in a safe. Right. <laughs> Millions of peaches. really about it, then you want to check all these. In the story mode, you have to, I think you, have to, I think you gotta go find different keys, like for each one of these things. So you're like, these safe deposit keys are all unlocked. Not very safe. Huh? That's it for this place. Let's get moving. That's how we do it on time. Got some more looting to do. And Blizzard's still raging, so we don't have to get our bow out. We're gonna come over here and get these houses. I think these houses are always available. No, well, I guess not. I think at least two of them are. Shouldn't need the lantern. What's that? Oh, reclaimed wood. I'll just go ahead and grab that. Got some oil. Here. There. I'm not 
not going to pick up any more water. Up in the sink. You want to check inside the sink. Uh, getting caught there. Okay. Can't bring that teddy bear with us. There is a teddy bear in uh, the Forsaken Airfield. You can watch for it. That was it for that one. Over here now. Yeah, Blizzard's pretty convenient in Milton, actually. <laughs> There's no wolves. You're just bouncing from place to place. Right, let's see. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do... I don't know. not sure how long we'll stay here. After we loot everything, we're probably just going to grab what we need and just pretty much head out. We should be able to repair our rabbit skin stuff. I do want to get another deer, get another deer hide curing. Gonna need that to repair uh, the boots and the pants. I don't like them to get, once they get below 80%, I really like to focus on repairing them, especially the renewable ones, the animal. So, let's see, nothing else, nothing else, that I'm just going to leave, um, we'll pick those up in the cloth runs, I'm technically, I just decided I'm not going to pick up any more uh, clothing, I will pick up already, uh, see, see that, it's open, but you can still search it. Okay, that's about it. Nothing else here. Right? Did I look in here? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, so, up this way, up that road is um, where the tower is. When it comes time for us to do the uh, signal void, that's one of the reasons to go to this Forsaken Airfield, so that we can get the radio, and then we can begin that quest and do Signal Void. Lots of places to check. Milton. On lower difficulties, I usually don't. Uh, when I first started playing, I wouldn't check the cars that often. But one time, I found a rifle that was just right in the back of a, uh, in the back of a car. All right. Uh, those are those vehicles. This is the this is the post office. Now, there's usually like hardly anything in here. There's really no. It's pretty limited because that that's completely boarded up. Um, a sewing primer. I haven't read any sewing books. Yeah, I mean, see this? And then you can't even open these at all either, so there's just really hardly anything in the post office at all. Which is interesting because you'd think there would be, like, uh, packages, right? In the age of Amazon and stuff.
Well, I'm just gonna keep going through these houses. houses back there too. We'll uh, swing back that way after we just check all these. Huh. Nothing, huh? There and a house there to loot. And wow, yeah, like nothing there. So there should be more houses in the back here for us to check, because all these are basically destroyed. We're still not even overweight. Right now, checking the rest of these places. Stuck there. All right. All right. It's making us do this a lot faster because there's just no wolves around to deal with. All right, let's get in here. All right, this one looks a little darker. I'm gonna. Pull the lantern out. All right, what do we got? Got some leather. I'll grab the shoes because um, it gives us leather. So I thought I would be able to open that. Huh. All right. Could end up oh. being useful. Herbal tea, nice. I think we only had like I think I only had like two units of herbal tea left. Vitamin C. Place. Actually, no, we gotta go upstairs. I can take the jeans. Actually, I'm gonna take these out and then drop them so I see them. Yeah. They're just cloth items. We'll see them there once we're going through for cloth. That's it for this place. Oh, now we're gonna have the wolves out. Where's the bow? Right. Finish doing this looting, head back to the uh, farmstead. Something's gotta go. In this region, where we're putting all our stuff, and then that'll be the end of this episode. Then the next thing on the list is to head towards the church. 
Uh, and then the bridge, and then get the bear. Nah, I might as well grab those. And then uh, head over to the... Grab that log. Head over to the, um, the plane crash. Over there, there's other loot over there. There's another jerry can. That's a, one of the places to get a guaranteed jerry can. Else under here. Fill up on water. Now we got plenty of water. Okay, except for this one. Already. Surprised I haven't come across another battery. The battery for this region must be already up at the uh the tower, because we'll need a battery to for signal void. Uh, is that it? I think this, yeah, this is the last one here. And then we'll head right back to the farmstead. Let's see if there's any other food walking around. the fuel. I'm going to be wondering why I'm heavy later. Why am I so heavy? Some salt. I probably didn't even drop the salt that I picked up, I don't think. I don't know. Alright, a potato. Yeah, the Forsaken Airfield is fun, except for the glimmer fog <laughs> but I mean even so you can you, you still can sleep with insomnia but you just don't sleep that well but herbal tea helps with that hope nobody needs this anymore oh, we got some more wool socks pretty sure I have both I have two pairs of wool socks already Heading back to the farmstead. I already checked this. Did I already check this? Yeah. All right. The houses are looted now. Except for the water and the cloth, basically. And well, any uh, reclaimed wood or anything like that, too, obviously. So we got all the food items and stuff like that. Is that? Let's see if there's anything else here to grab. There'll be other cattails as well. We're going tomorrow. Got another deer hide here. You know what? Actually. Might as well grab this guy right now. The deer hide. No tool. Huh. She's my hands. Hands are faster than the hacksaw. That's interesting. Give me that hide. 
Give me that hide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks like we have a whole bunch of uh, birch saplings here. Nice. I think I only need three of these for dressings, but I'll leave that rabbit alone. I don't need any more weight. Beautiful. Can't feel my feet. Was this a house right up here? Did I? Okay, come on. Have I? I don't think I've ever been up here. I don't think I ever have. interest. Where is the farmstead? This way. Yep. All right. Yep. Next episode, we'll go get a bear. Loot the rest of this place. Um, and. I mean, we'll probably stay another night, too, and stuff like that. Um, and then we'll be headed to Forlorn. And... Let's see. I was hoping to find more scrap metal. I mean... <coughs> I'm going to have to... Um, some of those houses, I'm just going to have to break down. I'm going to have to go through and do a scrap metal run before we leave here. That's what we'll have to do. Do you see another dead wolf around here? With an arrow sticking out of its head? Speed this up a little bit. That's some meat we haven't cooked. Not on the porch. Getting a lot of text messages on my phone. Really? Okay, so we just got another hide. And then we have some birch bark saplings. Oh, 
Another one. Alright. Uh, what else? We have some flour. Okay, let's just do this. Speaker. Speaker. And there you have it. The bounty of Milton. Right there. Look at that. Now, uh, let's see what else we have. Inventory to get rid of. Uh, we got a book. We have a couple toolboxes, so let's get. Get over here to the trunk. All right, what else? Uh, I got a bunch of fuel. I'm gonna dump shoes, boots. Wearing those, wearing, wearing, wearing socks. Food's taken care of. Book. Toolboxes. <laughs> That's about it. Okay, we're going to dump the fuel. Right by the door. Well, no, right by the door. We'll just dump it right by the stove over here. That's what we'll do. Yeah, I'm a lot of sticks. That's fine. Pretty good on weight. Now, for a bed, I'm gonna do some crafting. Yeah, three of those we needed. Re replace our uh, wound dressing. Craft a birch bark. Mushrooms. Hear a blizzard. All right. Okay. I'll sleep. Blizzard is over. Everybody, uh, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we will head over to church and the trailer, head over to the uh, uh, bridge, kill the bear, loot those vehicles, and then head over to the uh, plane crash and get the everything there. We're gonna find a jerry can over there as well. All right, take care. Have a great rest of the day.